when I come. Everyone wants to learn how to garden. Many people are asking me about local food and can they get a basket, a uh, vegetable uh, basket, fruits and vegetable basket. And within our community, there's more and more talk on a, on a collective level about where does our food come from and how do we get that food. I think that within this discussion, there are questions that are missing. You know, people are saying, well, well why isn't that food available in our shops? Well, you see, that food is not available, local foods like the manatakali or the um, turkey berry or green papaya or the chicken spinach or, or, or beautiful plants like, like moratakan, which, is, uh, which goes, uh, you know, balloon vine, which go, go, is very good for our joints or the blue flower or the banana flower. All these plants are... All these crops, these, these foods, they are simple foods. They are foods that, that we see emerging from a relationship with the land. They're not foods we see from, uh, you know, a system of growing food and getting it to a shop and getting a profit for it. I think what we have to do to start with is redefine the value of food for its nutritional value. Let's pull the plug on the economic value. Let's that, let that take care of itself later. Let's start farmers farming for nutritional value of plants. Let's make that our primary value, nutritional value. And then from there, the farmer will actually be growing these types of food. Because at the moment, he's not actually growing all these things. He'll be weeding them out and, you know, and, and concentrating on just one field of eggplant or one field of papaya or one field of banana. Whereas this permaculture that, that I've been showing you for, for a long time now with the, with the, the muringa kire and there's you know, a lot of different spinaches and papayas and bananas and so many different types of, of nutrition is is really it's all you know it's all about diversity and so when people start saying but why don't we have these foods in our shops you can be sure that the problem starts in the farmers field then they're not available in the shelves because you know that's not what's wanted and thus they're not on our plates so I think that really it's a reflection of our loss of our cultural nutritional heritage. It's a, and, and that's very much a loss of our relationship with Mother Nature, which is a reflection of this, this life that we've created, running after very, you know, ephemeral, you know, values, very, uh, very, very small-minded values. So let's come back to nutrition as being the reason of farming. Let's come back to nutrition as the reason of distributing food and let's come back to nutrition with with what we're eating and I think that in there lies our salvation there, there lies in our redemption our cultural nutritional redemption thank you very much for listening some more later <laughs>